This week we are in Jakarta in Indonesia. Bella shows you that living on a boat traveling is not all sunshine and surfing. And we got major issues on Catalpa. Where do I start? Well, we come into the marina the other day and I could hear the gearbox going woo woo, making a bit of a funny sound. I was like, well, that's odd, I've never heard that before. And then I got in here and I went to put in reverse and then it made a real funny noise again. Um, so I think our gearbox rear main seal is gone and we've dumped all our oil from our gearbox, um, which is very old, it's a Paragon. Um, I don't even know if I can get parts for it anymore. I did find this on the boat, I don't know if it's off this gearbox, but it might be mobile again, but if not, uh, I don't know what we do, to be honest. Welcome to our life on the sea. We are an Australian family that fell in love with the ocean and living on a boat traveling. I'm Sarah and together with Lee and our two kids, Taj and Bella, we are documenting our travels as we sail the world one island at a time. This lifestyle is fun, adventurous, humbling and incredibly challenging, but we wouldn't have it any other way. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to our channel to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Okay guys, so what I'm doing right now is getting water out of this locker. Dad opened it today to get some pipes out and we found water. It is from when the sink was overflowing from the engine spurting water or something like that. But now I've got to clean it out, but first I have to go through this gross water and try and find the end of this so that I can actually pump it out. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Dive in. Oh, I found it. That's yeah. quick. <laughs> no, it's not it. It's a white thing. I don't know. Oh, God. Well, I found the pipe. But the bad thing is it's under the water. I can see it. It's right there with the red cap and the pipe on the end. <laughs> so now I have to put my hand in there. That's great. Oh, it's so slimy, the water. And that's it. And there's all that yucky. Oh, I don't even know what that is. I'm going to have to clean water it. Water from the toilet, Bella. So, <laughs> 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 uh, is it the right one? There is a number here, which I've Googled, and it was made in the USA. From what I can see before I start, it does look like it could be the correct spare. Only reason I question it is many of the spares on this boat were obviously from other, I don't know, whatever they had on the boat at the time. So a lot of the spares have been useless, really. But yeah, I'm hoping of all the most important spares, this one's gonna be the right size, because this is a Paragon gearbox and a reduction box and they're so old and I don't even know if you can really get parts for them now. So we've just dumped a whole heap of oil out and it's this seal here that's the one that's worn out if it's the rear main. So I've never put one of these in before but um, I'll have a go. What I'm going to actually do is I've got a spool piece down here to pull off and then um, I'll get it to a stage whether I can see whether this is going to be a very similar fit or with a bright fit and go further. Otherwise, I'll put it back together and it'll just be a leaky gearbox for now. Just because parts A were in Jakarta, B with the Corona trying to get things. Um, you see, we still need to stay mobile and we need to get out of this marina. Fix up. It was just an amazing trip we had from the Mentowas to Jakarta. Originally it was just for a quick provision. We had one item broken, which was an iPhone, which is another problem in itself. Sarah can talk about that one another time. We were told to come down here for the iPhone and they'd replace it, and long story short, they haven't. But anyway, um, so on the way down here, lost our oil out of the gearbox, lost our exhaust hose, spurted salt water all over our air filter, ruined the air filter, blew a hose off under the... Um, kitchen there which in result flooded a locker which Bella's cleaning out. Which is what um, the swishing noises are. <laughs> yeah. And we just wanted, it's getting near Christmas, we didn't want to be A in Jakarta. Um, we wanted to be on a tropical island. We just wanted to come in here for like 
two, three days, provision the boat up, check into the country. Right, this, I've got a funny feeling this might be alright. So she got as far as she could with the suction. And now she's just bailing it out into a bucket. Is that a fun job? Button, my favourite. Don't you love boat life, Bella? <laughs> it's not all sunshine and surfing. What Bella would prefer to be doing. Everywhere we go. She's doing this so we can get back out there though. Otherwise you wouldn't do it, would you? Alright. <laughs> Being very helpful. Thank you, baby girl. Just get into it and get it done and it'll be easy. Just make it like a crockwood, like in Australia, nice and snappy. I know you're filming, I heard the camera. <laughs> Mama. She's not silly. So what I'm gonna do is my spool piece that goes from um, the gearbox to the shaft. I'm just going to tap a couple of reference points because when I pull anything apart, everything's aligned. I try and line those reference points up exactly so I'm not just putting things back to front, upside down, inside out. And even though it should fit, generally the way you pull something apart it generally goes back together. Easier if it's identically put back together. So I just do tap, tap, a couple of reference points on the spool piece. Uh, start down here. So we're either going to get ourselves really stuck here or sorted. You nearly finished. There's <laughs> a lot of water in there. About six buckets, eh? Yeah. I'm shaking. You're doing a great job there, baby. So I've just finished getting all the water out of the locker. I mean, there's like an inch left that I'll have to have to sponge out. Break, but uh, right now I'm having a break, drinking my green juice. Probably there's a reference point somewhere on there, but it's so rusty I can't see. All I've done is just put a couple little punch marks in here. I uh, know that small piece is going to line back up the same way I pull it apart. Let the fun begin. Some people probably cringe at this, but a little bit of leverage. When you, can't, when you haven't got enough in that one, I usually just double up on the old spanner like that and twice the amount. Some people say you can break the spanners, but I don't know if I'm break yet. Touch the wood, babe. Touch the wood. <laughs> I know you don't have time for you to be doing weights. You can work on your muscles later. Well, that's the nut that I was trying to get off. <laughs> He's been trying for ages. And Bloody he was... Sweden. Bloody Swedes, it got me. But he was swearing and carrying on and then I was like doing something, wasn't watching and he sat it out for a good five minutes. He said nothing. No cheering, no... <laughs> I got it's probably it. a specific tool for this but we don't have it and I can see that whoever's actually undone this last time has taken to it with some... with a fair bit of force. I only just tapped it lightly. It was actually pretty loose. I don't know if that's half our problem. But um, there should be, I think it's a paraffin nut or something, but it should be a washer that locks that on too. I'll dig down deeper, see what we got. Bilge has to be on the road, doesn't it? Definitely oil in the bilge. Yeah. That's that thing you were talking about. It's a paraffin washer. It'll fall off. It's got silk in there. I don't know whether they have just to hold it on while they tighten it up, maybe. Ah, the 
tempted it with a bit of silicon. Just bodged it up. Story of poor old Katalpa's life, you know. People just haven't given her the love she needed. I'll have to do a bit of research on this. There's a keyway there too, which we don't want to lose. I don't want to touch this yet, but when I've cleaned it up, I'll show. That should go down over to here, but I want that perfectly cleaned up before we... I don't want to get any contamination in that rubber there. I'll leave him all clean there for now, but once we clean all this up, that's one of our leaking problems. As you can see, even where that's been rubbing on the um, seal, we'll clean all this up nicely somehow. But there should be a rubber o-ring that goes over here, and I think that's why they put a dab of this silicon maybe, I don't know. But I just know it doesn't look right. If that isn't the right one, we're in a bit of trouble. So, I don't know how I'm going to get that out yet, to be honest. I don't want to ace, scorch any of that. Um, that needs a rubber o-ring, I'm going to have to try and find whatever that size shaft is and get an o-ring. So what they've done, they've actually just put a bead of silicon in there, which is just absolute rubbish. Um, that should be a, um, an o-ring. Um, what part of that pushes that in? I'll have to get my head around it. This here was non-existent. I just pulled one of these teeth off because it actually needs to sit into the keyway here. So now it locks in. And uh, well, obviously, can only, once we lock off the nut, it can only move that much because this nut only goes on sort of hand tight. Can't really find one of these because they don't really make them anymore. And I have found the spare parts, but it's going to take way too long. It's only like a five, ten dollar piece, but I can't find it here. So I just I spotted a welder on the jetty, so I went down and got a little dab of weld on there, and I just tidied that up and back in action. So good because we thought it. that Katapa was done. <laughs> So I just got to get an O-ring now. The actual main rear seal um, we had on the boat, which was just one of those things that was just um, real lucky. Out of all the spares on this boat, not many have been any good. And we had a brand new O-ring or rear seal on it. This need an inner O-ring, which I'll find anywhere. Like a two inch O-ring, so that's pretty standard. And um, yeah, it will be in action. really have this put on the lathe, but um, I don't know what the tolerance would be with the new gasket, that's all. This is our, this is our new shaft seal. It originally was rubbing there and it's actually got a wear mark and I don't really know if I trust any of the machinists here to sort of clean this section up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little template like so here as and I'm gonna push this five more mil back into the housing which there's plenty of room in the housing the housing actually runs back to you could fit two of these inside so in doing so with that housing um, getting it in five more mil I should avoid all this nasty stuff here and I'm gonna try and polish out most of this stuff here with a bit of wet wet and dry and um, it'll be sitting, the inside of the um, O-ring will be sitting on the clean and then the outside one will be pretty good. So that's the plan for that one. So I'm just slight alteration, move this back in five mil so it sits on a nice clean surface, not that edge that's a little bit worn. And uh, yeah, it's one more problem out of the road. One step closer to getting out of the marina. Out of Jakarta. Just got to try and get this done. Well, I've got my uh, K&N air filters. I found the automotive district. Uh, I'll have to go get some more parts. All right, guys. So I've got to make up a tool to um, get this nut here, which is actually recessed in 
inside here so obviously there is a special tool which I don't have and I don't know if it's available here or whether it was specific for Paragon um, because it's recessed it makes it a bit harder um, I can see it's pretty it's pretty dodgy it's been hammered and hammered um, whoever removed it last time um, so I'm just going to try and make it tool up and order a couple of these so if ever it does have to or order another one if ever I do need to um, service the uh, o-ring again I'll have it there ready what I'm gonna do it's a little bit dodgy but I'm just gonna I'll just drill those holes in here um, I'm gonna cut these off and square them up and fit the shape of that and see how that works I'm only gonna have two points of contact on it but I've got to try and get about 400 foot-pound on here so um, so where's the gearbox mechanic tells me hopefully he's not watching he's just going to be cringing looking at how i'm doing this but you just got to do these things just to get by i suppose when you're in indonesia he did say one thing when i spoke to the gearbox guy he said just to make sure to get a good seal here with the loctite 515 which i found um and get 400 foot pound on it and put it back together and we should be all good Okay, so here's my little tool I've made up. What I'm intending to do is that's going to be my leverage bar. So I've just checked out. I've just cut down some uh, 12mm, uh, no, 12, 10mm bolts. Put them through, bolted it on. I haven't made four because I didn't have a big enough piece of steel. But I reckon that'll do. You can see how chewed out that is someone's obviously just banged it last time to get it off but, um, it's a very sad looking nut that's why I thought I'd try and preserve its life a little bit longer and just make a bit of a tool up Lee cleaned and painted these parts of the gearbox ready for the installation all right so we've got the headlamp on we had a little visit from the marina manager this afternoon and he just let us know that tomorrow morning we have to move our boat because there's like a freaking 70 meter um big super cat thing coming onto this dock and we don't have our transmission back together so um i'm just cleaning up the new seal make sure there's no nothing on this all right so there's the um locking nut that's recessed into the flange here so you can see in previous times where this has been taken off they've just somehow used something to really make a bit of a mess of this nut but I looked up a little tool this afternoon which is just a couple of 12 mil bolts which I've squared up and that's gonna sit on there like so and act as a bit of leverage for me to tighten this up to try and get 400 foot-pound. Um, I hope Wes, the uh, gearbox mechanic back in Australia, doesn't watch this episode. He's probably cringing at all this going back together with the nut looking like that, my spanner looking like this, no torque wrench. What do you do? Got to do what you got to do. Also had existing wear marks oh, it's still a bit wet okay that little paint up there's some wear marks here um so which were made from obviously the o-ring rubbing on it for so many years um i didn't want them on the original wear marks so i've made up a little spacer which i'm gonna put on top of this and bang that in flush which is gonna put me five more mil back which there's plenty of room inside the gearbox and that'll just move that back and put me onto some nice smooth surface and hopefully not wear out our new um, flange so quick or new oil seal should I say um, so here we go let's get this back together what are you leaving up there? Oh, look it probably doesn't need it it's such a firm fit but it could act as a bit of lubrication and a seal if there's any scratches so I'll just put a little bit of uh, the Loctite 515 which is a 
gasket eliminator so it pretty much acts as a um, gasket for the flanges but uh, the viscosity is pretty thin. I just thought I'd put it on here, it'll help it slide in and if there is any scratches it should uh, seal them up. Jeez, that's going to take some banging in. It's so tight. I don't know how they usually do this but I've made up a uh, spacer slash tool to use to uh, not damage seal so hopefully I don't get stuck halfway and I can get this in. Trouble getting it back in, so just checking that's the old one. Well, I had a lot of trouble getting that one out, as you can see. <laughs> Chainsaw Massacre got to this one. I actually drilled holes in this, put a self tapping screw in, and was trying to pull it out, but it actually just pulled the steel apart. And then I just sort of hacked away at it and um, pried it out, but it took some serious getting out. But, um, yeah, no expert at that. I don't know what the how you actually get them out, but I got it out. I just know I got to get this back in, but I, I really don't want to damage it. Oh, it's maybe the slightest bit bigger at this end of the flange, which I'd say will compress down anyway. It's just a tight fit. That's all right. Just chip away at it. So usually this. Um, Without this, what I've made, that usually fits flush with the housing, but there's plenty of room in that uh, for this to slide in. So I want to get it a bit over five more mil back, which will get me off the old wear lines that have. Um, so I didn't get the shaft machined. I wasn't uh, trusting enough to let the locals here have a go at that machining it. So I just thought if I can pull this back a bit, and I spoke to the mechanic about it. Our um, gearbox mechanic in Australia, and he said not a problem. His main concern was to use this stuff on the flange to get a good seal and get 400 foot pound of pressure on the locking nut. Um, and he said you should be right. But it's started now, so it's going. What's happened is the yellow template, as you can see over here, some of it's missing. We tapped it in, it was a great idea, but what happened? Oh, I've got a little bit that slid behind the gasket. I've got to try and get my little fingers in there somehow. You didn't think didn't about that bit breaking, did you? No. Didn't even cross your mind, did it? Well, I'm just about there too. I've just, I pretty much just got to just finalise the flushness of it, and it, it's good. Okay. That must be way more comfier. It's put the lid of the floor down so you can lie actually on something. You just try and pick out that bit in a mirror. It's got a bit of a dentist set up there. Doing an operation. Yeah, no, don't go to this dentist. <laughs> That's a bit dirty. <laughs> Putting his fingers in there. <laughs> I'm wondering if your little fingers can get in there and pull that out. My little fingers. Mine is just too big. So he was right. My little fingers were able to get it out. This was the piece that was stuck in there. So apparently if I did it wrong, we I could have really stuffed up, but I didn't. So that's good. <laughs> Lee's just tapping that final little bit in now. Just gonna see if all of these bits are there. It makes up that circle. That's so disgusting, our bills. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two slithers left, and they're on the outside, so I'm assuming they've just flown off anyway. So one little bit missing. Where Where is she? It go? Oh, the last piece, Sarah just fished it out. I just wanted to make sure none of that went into the gearbox. That was all. She's so, all there. She's all there. 
apart. It's like a piece it of pineapple. Fell apart, it fell apart. It's just a bit of chopping board, and uh, I probably could have used a rubber mullet, and it probably would have been better, but hey, oh, I didn't. I suggested that to you. Yeah, no, I didn't want to go up and get it. I was being lazy. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, that now is the thickness where the seal is pushed in, which then allows for this seal to sit off the original wear marks that I wasn't happy with. So it's going to be back in a bit more on the nice shiny. So it's going to have a better surface to work with. Beautiful. Good job, honey. He's just sending me on a wild goose chase to find the mallet in his tool bag, which is like horrible to go through. And then he goes, oh, nah. It's just here. It's been here the whole time. <sighs> I think you got to hit harder. No, I'm breaking the mirror. It'll be bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Try a few different techniques because it's having trouble getting the flange in. Is that the flange? I can't hit it with a hammer because it's a machine face and the rubber mullet I can only get like an inch of a knock on it um, I sort of need to get some sort of leverage on it to push it in it's a machine fit so it it should go in pretty easy as soon as it just gets past the seal so yeah one of those things we'll, we'll persevere here not even on the part where the o-ring is so Lee's had no luck, he's um, tried every which way he can think of to put this thing back together. Um, he's now pulling it back out. It's nearly midnight and he's been going at it for hours. So he's got it back out, he's now inspecting it. So I'm going to give it a little polish up. So the keyway is, um, it's risen up at the back. <sighs> Did that just go in? Oh no. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. <laughs> Babe. Ah, man. We could have been in bed hours ago. <laughs> yeah, I feel so, like such a dum dum. <laughs> oh, you're only human. You're an extraordinary one, but you're only human. You said to me like three times, it's something to do with the keyway. You gotta learn to listen to that intuition. <laughs> Just a new tool in action. Just gonna keep doing this so um, we'll come back. And finally, it went in. Lee applied the gasket seal and put it back together. And what do you know? Our gearbox is back intact and so far, so good.